you should have this green worksheet in front of you. Um, hope you guys all have it out. Get ready to go. We're going to start with number one. Graph the linear equation. It says to graph right here the linear equation. What is, what is, you need to answer that rate of change, okay, that's m, same thing as slope, and the y-intercept, that's b, okay? So we need to find what is m and what is b, the rate of change and the y-intercept. Can't find that, okay, in order to do that, you can't do that here. The rate of change, you need to make it to in slope-intercept form, so you have to make you have to identify y. Want everything but y. Get rid of everything else. So you start with the 2 to make that equal to 0. Okay, that's 0 now. 0 plus 4y is 4y. Now we're still trying to find this y. Okay, equals to 8 plus 2x. We don't want the 4 that's there. So we don't want this 4, we want to get rid of the 4, so we divide by 4, divide by 4 to all of them. y equals to 2 plus 1 half x. Okay, this, the one next to x is the y, inter that's the rate of change right here. The number, that 1 half is the rate of change, that means you go up 1, right 2. Okay. Your y-intercept is this number 2 here. B is 2. B is 2. That's your y-intercept. 0 or 0, 2. Right there, 0, 2. Okay. So you go... Up one, right two. Okay, that's your answer. This one asks you to graph very, the following system of equations. State the solution. Okay, let's see. This one, the rate of change is 1 over 1. That one is negative 1 over 1. You need to go up one, right one. Okay, your y-intercept is at two, just like the other one. Right there. From there, you go up one, right one. Up one, right one. Up one, right one. Okay, just like this one here. So I'll keep it like this so you can see. Okay, and then you run out of room, you go the other way. Down one right one. Okay, down one, right one. You should know how to do this by now because we've done a lot of graphing. If you've forgotten, this is the y-intercept. That's the starting point. You need to connect the dots. Down one, right one. And 
in the other way. We keep going down one, right one. Down one, right one each time. Down one, right one. Okay. This is called what type of solution? Oops. Let me connect this correctly. It's called one solution. at um, 1, 3. Okay. Next one. Remember, the um, between periods 3, 4, and 5, the best class gets a free homework pass. Um, so, if the sub leave me a note on which one is the best class between the two days, you guys get a free homework pass. Everyone in that class. Number three, solve each equation. Okay. Stave if one solution, infinite solution, or no solution. Okay. I should put solve one solution, then stave. Anyways, distribute first. equals. Oh, here I can combine these two because they're alike. Put them together, you get, in this case we add them together. It's 12x plus 6. Now get rid of the smallest one. Smallest variable, coefficient actually they're called. The number next to the variable is called coefficient. You get 0 there. 0, 0, and you get 4 does not equal to 6. This is no solution. Okay. I'll let you copy what you have not have for those of you. Those of you are done, please do number 4. Okay. Number four, you distribute first, you get 8x minus 20 equals 2, negative 15, negative 5 gives you negative 20 plus 8x. Get rid of the variable first, get the variables 8, the co coefficient I mean. The number next to a variable is called coefficient, minus 8, to make 0, minus 8, 0, minus 20 is negative 20, negative 20 plus 0 is negative 20. This is called infinite solution. Okay, next one. Identify, let's do A, which is right here. Identify the transformation used to create triangle C, D, E. C, D, E. What transformation? It started here, and it went over there. So it looks like a rotation of 180 degrees. Rotation of 180 degrees. Clockwise or counterclockwise? Doesn't matter. So I'll use clockwise. Counterclockwise leaves the same. It's 10, 90, 180, 270, back to 360 or 0 degrees. Okay? Um, or counterclockwise, 0, 90, 180. Same thing. Okay? It's both 180 each time either counter or clockwise. Identify the congruence 
congruent angles. Okay, state the problem situation first. Okay, state the prop. We're identifying congruent angles. Okay, we're finding angles that are the same in both triangles. Congruent angles are the inside part. Angles are the inside part, okay? Angles are the inside part. The inside part that are the same in both triangles. So state the problem situation. The problem situation is um, find the problem situation is find the angles congruent means the same that are the the angles are the inside part let's use a different word find the inside degrees angles are degrees that are the same Okay. Okay, inside part that starts with letter H. Okay, inside part H, letter H, this is the inside part right here, this degree right here. Angle H. Angle H, the inside part is is congruent to which one is the same congruent means the same remember as this angle H angle E notice it's 90 degrees just like that one is congruent to put the squiggly line angle E okay next one we're done with H and E let's cross them out okay let's do angle G that's same as angle D. Okay, G and D are the same. The inside part are the angles right here. Angle F is congruent to angle C. F and C because we finish D and G at C. Identify the congruent sides. All right, congruent sides. State the problem situation. Sides are the length. Sides are the length. Okay, same length. Congruent means the same length. Sides are the length. Angles are the degrees inside. Angles are degrees. Side is the length. Okay, let's look. GH, this length, is 4, right? Which one is also 4 on the other one? DE. So you put line GH, line segment GH, is congruent to DE, line segment DE. Oh, state the problem situation. Okay, problem situation is find the sides with the same length. Find the sides with the same length. That's the problem situation. So same length here is this and that. Okay, so let's cross let's cross that out so we know we've done these two. Alrighty. And then we go to um, next two pair, probably um, H and F. 
line segment HF is congruent to E and C. They're, they're the same because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 also. Okay, so H and F and then E and C, line segment EC. Okay? All right. F and G is congruent to F and G is congruent to C and D. That's where you have to f use the Pythagorean theorem for both of them to find. That's why they're the same, okay? Same thing here. Identify the transformation used to create triangle ABC. So here's the pre-image. And they want, this is the image. What transformation occurred there? Okay. I want you to think about that. What transformation occurred? So those of you who need more time to copy this, I'll let you copy. But think about the other one. Think about the other one. What transformation occurred there? If you say rotation, you, are, you get a 1 on a test. There's different types of rotation. There's 90 degrees, 180, 270, clockwise and counterclockwise. Okay. So you can see this as 0, 90, 180, 270 degrees clockwise. Or you can see this as 0, 90, counterclockwise. So most of you hopefully probably see it 0, 90, 270, I mean 180, sorry, give you 270 count clockwise. Okay, so you get rotation of 270 clockwise. Okay, identify the congruent angles. Angles are the degrees, is the degree or the inside part. It's inside. Congruent means the same, the same degrees. Let's look. We'll start with. G is 90 degrees right here, and the other one that's 90 degrees is angle C right there. So angle G is congruent to, oh, let's write this down, state the problem. The problem situation is to find the same degrees, which is the inside. Angle G is congruent to angle C. Okay, angle, which angle next? Angle E? Angle C. E is the same as angle A right here. Angle E right there, inside here, same as inside there. OK. 
Okay, right there. Angle E is congruent to angle A. Angle F is congruent to angle B. Identify the congruent sides. Congruent means same. Sides are the length, same length. State the problem situation. The problem situation is to find the lengths that are the same congruent. Okay, find the lengths that are the same. Alrighty, let's erase. Okay, let's start with this right here. That's four. Find another one that's four. This one here, that's four. Okay, so we'll write that. EG, line segment EG, is congruent to AC. GF is 3, is congruent to CB, which is also 3. GF is congruent to CB. And the last one, the only way you can find the missing length is using the Pythagorean theorem, but they didn't ask you to find the length. EF Line segment EF is congruent to line segment AB. Okay, that's how you do that one. This is all the same, pretty much. Let's go ahead and keep on doing. I'll do this page, and then your assignment is to do this for homework. Okay, I wonder how long this has been. They don't tell me. Anyways. Okay, identify the transformation used to create triangle TVW. This is the image. This is the pre-image. That means that what it starts out with. Okay, this is what transformation occur. Went from here to here, so it's not a reflection. A reflection would be on one of each other. Translation, maybe. Um, here to here now. It's not the same each time. So it has to be rotation of 90 degrees clockwise or 270 counterclockwise. Write the congruent angles. Identify the congruent angles. Okay. Congruent angles, remember angles is the inside. Or the degrees, congruent means the same. Angles are the degrees, better math word. Okay, identify, they didn't ask you the problem situation. Okay, identify, let's use angle R right here, which is 90 degrees, and angle W, which is also 90 degrees. Angle R is congruent to angle W. Angle V, angle Q, which one's the same as angle corresponds to angle Q is angle V. Angle Q is congruent to angle V.
angle T. It's congruent to angle P. Okay. Identify the congruent sides. Sides are the length. And congruent means that are the same. So let's compare the lengths in each one of these. Okay, this length here is 3. This is 3. So PR is congruent to um, TW. Line segment or their corresponding sides, okay? And this is six, and this is also six. So RQ is congruent to WV. And of course, our last one are these two needs Pythagorean theorem. PQ is congruent to TV line segment. Okay. Now this one here, identify the transformation used to create triangle ABC. Okay, so the pre-image then is this one here. This one then is the image. A, B, C. Okay, congruent angles, the angles that are the same. This is tougher. That's the degree. This is called a reflection over the x-axis. You put a mirror here, they see it. Over the x-axis. Okay. Let's see. Angle A is congruent to angle S. Angle A is congruent to angle S. Okay, that's good. This angle here is congruent to that angle. Angle C is congruent to angle V. This angle is congruent to this angle. Angle B is congruent to angle T. Okay, hey, sides, congruent sides. Which ones are, sides are congruent? Obviously, these are congruent. They're both two. VS is congruent to um, CA. This one here is four, right? And this one here is four. BA is congruent to TS. BC is congruent to TV. Okay, and then you do the same for all these. For the last two, try these on your own for homework or finish it in class. I hope you guys finish. You see how long it's been. I can't tell. It doesn't tell me. Um, anyways, I'll keep going. I'll do this last one here. These, I hope you can do it on your own now. Know the difference between congruent angles and congruent sides. Congruent angles, congruent side, and then the transformation that occur 
This one is a translation. Notice this X is this one. It went up one and over how many? Okay, translation of up one over to the right, how many? We need to explain that. Tate is ordering flour for a bakery. Bakery baker supply charges 30 cents per pound. So 30 cents per pound times the number of pounds X. And a delivery fee and a ten dollar oh and a ten dollar delivery fee because of per you need to put that times x. best flour charges 80 cents per pound that's just it 80 cents per pound per means times x x is the number of pounds write an equation for buying flowers. Okay. One equation is for Baker. Baker is y equals 0.30x plus 10. Y represents total cost. Best flower is y equals to 0.8x. There's no other fee, so you just stop there. If Tate wants to buy 30 pounds of flour, now remember, 30 pounds of flour, x represents the number of pounds. So which company should buy? Okay, let's look at Baker. 0.30x plus 10. So if you want 30, you place the x with 30 here. 9 plus 10 equals to $19. Okay, and then the other one is best flower. Best flower, they just charge y equals to 80 cents. That's it. And then this one is looks like the first few you did up here. All right. I want you to try that on your own down here. I'm going to quit this because it'll take me forever.